Hi there, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. In this video, we're going to show you how to use uh, the print feature in CoinManage. And even though it's called print, you can do many other things with it. And I'll show you in a second how to do that. Um, so basically, the idea behind that is you, you're looking at the part of your collection. For example, here I'm looking at my collection in the United States. And I've got, uh, you see down here, you've got 999 coins, total cost, total value. And uh, let's say I just want to print out this this portion of my collection. I don't want to create a report, and I want you know I want to be able to specify what fields to show on the fly. So what you do is you're going to select the print. Uh, uh, let's see this little print uh, toolbar button here. You print, you select that, and it comes up and uh, shows you the title is going to be predefined in my collection, United States. Uh, you have some more options here, uh, show totals, which is going to show the total uh, quantity, cost, and uh, value at the bottom. And another one, show coin image. You could sort and group by whatever field you want here. So on the right uh, side, you got the fields to print, which are the fields that are going to show on the report. Uh, let's make it landscape. If you make it landscape, you're going to be able to show uh, more fields across the top of the report. Um, so let's say... Let's get rid of a couple of these. Uh, if there's a field you don't want, uh, you just click on the field here and select, uh, select the unselect button. If you want to change the location of the field, uh, you can just click on it and select move up or move down. So um, let's get rid of country since we know it's the United States. Okay, so um, those are the fields we want to show. Uh, now to actually print or export uh, the data, you uh, the fields you've selected, just click on this button here, print, pre print, preview, etc. And now you're going to be uh, presented with the print options dialog. Now, the default is just to print it out directly to your printer. If that's all we're going to do, just go ahead and click start. Um, but if you want to preview what you have before you actually print out, you can just click on preview, click start here. It's going to show you what the output's going to look like, and then you can go ahead and print it from here if you want to. Um, okay, so besides that, we have many other export formats, and what we can do is bring down this drop down, and let's take um, let's take Microsoft Excel. Uh, CoinManage can export directly to Microsoft Excel as well as PDF, which are two very popular formats. Uh, so let's select Microsoft Excel. Now, next to the uh, output uh, format, um, you have the options button. And what that does is allow you to specify options, like, for example, the resolution of the JPEGs, uh, quality, things like that. So let's go ahead and click Start. Now, next dialog is going to get, it's going to ask you for the name of the a spreadsheet you want to export to, we just call it My USA Coins. Down here we have the open the file and registered application checkbox. In most cases, you want to select that uh, select that because it um, will bring up the uh, file after you've uh, exported it in the application that's uh, registered to to use that uh, particular file format. So, anyway, we're going to click Save here. You'll see a printing on Microsoft Excel format uh, status dialog. And it's going to bring up Microsoft Excel. And it is, let me move this over. As you can see here, it brings it uh, presents your data in a spreadsheet. And there it is right there. Another popular format is going to be um, HTML is another format you may be interested in using. Uh, we have HTML format and HTML jQuery. And what HTML jQuery does is it uh, it kind of compresses the the data so that if you're viewing the data on a phone, you don't have to constantly be scrolling or expanding the you know, zooming in on the data. So, um, anyways. Uh, we also got text CSV format down here, and that's just going to uh, output the data in a plain text file separated by commas. And that can be very useful if, let's say, for example, you're, um, you're using some um, online application or you're 
uploading some uh, data to another application. Um, a lot of a lot of programs will import CSV files, so that's the format you want to go with there. Anyways, let's go ahead and select HTML here. Start. My USA coins open the file and register application and you're going to click save I have options here as well click save and brings up your web browser with the um, export HTML file here so and this is straight HTML um, in some situations you may be able to copy and paste it uh, if you need to. I'm going to select view source as you can see here it has created a complete HTML document so let me try one last format here uh, I don't need to show this okay the CSV I was mentioning uh, you select that here options now one option you want for CSV is um, you want the header to contain the name of the columns so you just select header and footer lines print once click OK start and this is going to create a file as you see in a second called uh, myusacoins.csv and like I said it can you can go ahead and import that data into many applications there you go see um, so all the data is separated here and um, uh, as you can see it's just for text data but it's a great way to to move your data to another program if you need to alright that's it for now thank you for watching take care